Hello and welcome to Random Familia. Today what we're going to be talking about is our healthy food choices. As many of us, without realizing it, make so many poor decisions on eating food. But before we get started, I'm going to show you what I bought from Pampered Chef in order to help me along. One moment. Alright. Nice easy box open. Now I have seen people selling the two cup, but these are one cup. And what I like it for is because we need to measure out what we eat, especially when we're wanting to start out losing weight. But it's a good idea to do on a regular basis. Anyhow, once you're in the habit, you might as well keep going. So that's that. There are six of these. So, and there are the little lids. So you need them for later, right? And like I say, there are six of them. So that is perfect. One thing over the years that I have misunderstood about protein is that, because that's where I saw it advertised the most, is advertised for when you're working out or when you're doing it like hard exercise, you need lots of protein. Well, that's true, you do. But also, protein is it's studied today that it is just a very essential part of your meal. Um, you want more veggies, so more veggies, salad, uh, you can have cooked, and salad are the, is the best, at least for one of the meals a day. And for this another meal, you need to have salad again, uh, of whatever form, veggies, that are probably uh, raw. Uh, that would be the best way way to go about doing things but see right now on on our venture my husband and I um, we are doing two cups of lettuce so romaine lettuce is what we eat to a cup of vegetables of whatever other vegetables that you want to add into the salad and then I also add sometimes cranberries or raisins uh, almonds pecans other things that will be healthy for you to eat. So it seems very simple, but um, because of my lack of proper protein, my lack of proper vegetables, because I had stopped making salads and I had even stopped serving cooked vegetables. So basically we weren't getting any vegetables in our diet. now. The last couple days, I know I look rosy and everything, but that's makeup. The last two days, I haven't felt the best and I didn't eat the proper amount of vegetables. We're also taking a supplement called Immunocal and that has helped a great deal. Now I'm running low, I'm waiting for my other order to come in and usually it comes really quickly, so it should be here soon. Um, but that has also, and what that is, it's a protein and it helps build muscles as well as your immune system. Now, the older we get, the more that we need extra protein, extra uh, vitamins, minerals, um, many extra things in order to help us function properly. But because of my uh, poor understanding of nutrition, uh, over the past eight years, we became actually malnourished, which is what you don't hear about in the first world country. But if you're only eating out, which a lot of times we did, if you're not eating your, uh, a good portion of vegetables a day and the right amount of protein a day, that's not good for you. Now I'm going to be back and I'm going to just let you know about... Um, how many times a day you need to eat and what you need to eat during those days, one moment. Now, as well as proteins and salads, we also need our good fat so that you can find that in avocado. You can find that in almond butter. You can find that in a few different things, which another day I will touch on that. Today, I'm just kind of sharing you what we're doing with you, what we're doing. And um, so anyhow, so typically, five to six times a day you should be eating something. Now, breakfast, What you have your meal, 
uh, two or three hours later, you have something with protein. So generally I'll have half of these. It's a protein drink. It's got 30 grams of protein in it and um, only one gram of sugar. So that is great. Now, if I don't feel like having that, I will have two tablespoons of almond butter with one sliced apple or a piece of fruit that you think would go well with almond butter. You can have peanut butter as well. There's nothing wrong with peanut butter. There's also other kinds of nut butters that are also very good to add to your, your diet. Um, they, they have protein, but they've also got the good fat as well. So, so that's breakfast. You've got your snack in between breakfast and lunch because that way by the time you get to lunch, you're not having to pile all of that protein that you need and all the, yeah, basically the protein. You don't have to pile all that protein into that one meal. You're spacing it out. It's a little bit easier for your body to digest your food that way as well and break things down instead of just shoving everything up in at once. So then you have your, your lunch, which is another 15 grams or depends on your body weight, depends on maybe your age too. There's a bunch of things that it depends on. So don't go with me on what I say the 15 grams. That's for myself. Um, it could be less for you. So. You take, you have your portion of your protein, you have a decent sized salad, as well as some cooked vegetables. Now, and then again, sorry, in between lunch and supper, you're gonna want to have another snack. So you decide, you figure it out. What is it? I'll give you in another video, I'm gonna give you ideas and tips a uh, list of different things that have good protein, that have good fats, all those kind of things that you need to actually burn the fats in your body as well as build the muscle in your body because those things can deplete very quickly and especially for the, us the older that we get, but even for the young people, you need your proteins and you need your vegetables and you need your fruit. Now, Fruit drinks don't count because if you look at fruit drinks, they have just as much sugar them sugar in them as Coke does. Now, a lot of us say, well, that's a natural sugar. It shouldn't matter. Well, it does. It matters a lot. Um, sugar is sugar. So you have to limit the amount. Now, uh, being that my husband is a type 2 diabetic, uh, so far he's managed to keep his um, self without having to go on ins insulin and we are trying to keep his diet good so that he will not have to go on that for maybe forever or for at least a long, long time. So in that we have to, uh, we were told that for him, um, when he was first diagnosed, that fruit, even fruit, is going to spike his uh, sugar. So you have to be careful with everything that you eat, how much sugar. Now, if you've got people that are diabetics in your home or in your family group, right? You're gonna to want to be careful how much sugar you're, intake, you're, you're getting in your body. You do need a little bit from time to time, but you don't need an overabundance of it because you, can, you don't also want low blood sugar, right? So anyhow, this is what we're doing. And sometimes my husband will join me Sometimes he won't, it just depends. Right now he's at work and I'm just gonna be doing my schedule and if he feels like joining me one day, he will join me. And if not, that's fine. I'll just continue going on and we will. I will show you uh, what we're doing and teach you a little bit of what I'm learning. Now, I am not a nutritionist. I'm not a, obviously have not a lot of experience in this. Um, I did study on my own, not through any school or anything. I wasn't registered licensed about eight to 10 years ago and had lost a lot of weight, became quite healthy and stress happened. So everything kind of went down again, but we are not going to let that take over. We're not gonna let that control us. We are going to be positive. We are going to look forward and we are going to get back on track again and things in life will hopefully 
look a lot brighter and they already do but anyhow thank you so much for joining me i'll stop babbling now until next time i can't wait to see you again next monday remember every monday uh eight o'clock in the morning will be my health journey videos and so join me i will share recipes with you and you know one thing i'm going to tell you is a lot of mexican food apart from the pan dulce is very very healthy it's very nutritious so yeah so you're going to be seeing a lot of mexican food a lot of mexican recipes because like i said they are a lot more healthy um yes our roast beef is great or uh having a little bit of potatoes with it is fine the the rice is not the best white rice but we will teach you that in time myself or both of us so anyhow stay tuned again until next monday thanks for joining me don't forget forget to subscribe hit that like button if you like the video Feel free to share if you have anybody who might be interested in, in this journey, taking this journey with us as we become healthier. And then in doing so, we might possibly lose weight as well. I would assume we probably will. Um, so anyhow, take care. Bye-bye.